Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're gonna test out Lee Sin versus Lissandra. Should be pretty interesting. Also, this is the first time we're gonna be using this build. Looking forward to that. First, let's go over his star powers. So when you play your second spell in a round, give your strongest ally 8-8 this round. Now this is a temporary buff, so it's only gonna last that round. But 8-8, eight, eight, that's a massive increase in stats. You can really use this to surprise the enemy and turn the fate of many engagements. Now for the two star, we have that plus one starting mana and round star to create a fleeting twin disciplines in hand. So that twin disciplines give an ally three power or three health. Again, temporary, but a really solid combat trick and will help us get our first star power going. Now for the build we're going with, we're going with Starforge Gauntlets power. If I'm Titanic, plus one starting mana. We're pairing that with the Luminous Orb, so Lee Sin will have eight health, so he'll count as Titanic, so we can get just our ramp going a little bit earlier, have more mana to play with right at the start of the game. We're also getting Secret Technique, also power. When an ally gains stats from a spell, it gains twice that many instead. So we have these combat tricks that we are playing with, and so the Secret Technique just gonna double those stats. That'll be very nice. Now this won't affect our star power, our first one, because that's not a spell, that's just a effect. But as Lee Sin, you do have a decent amount of combat tricks. So this is just gonna double the effect of all of those. And the great thing about this build is both of these are powers. So even if Lee Sin isn't on the board, these are still helping you out. So even if we don't draw our champion, we're still having some pretty solid buffs and effects going off. Now, not sure how much better or worse this will be than like Chemtech Duplicator, which is the relic that when you hit six mana, all of your spells and skills are doubled. For one, that effect isn't a power. You actually have to have your champion on the board and be at six or more mana. And so it's a lot more limited, whereas these will be going off at the very start of the game, regardless of if we have Lee on the board. So I think this should be better, but Chemtech Duplicator is also a pretty solid relic. Now, if you appreciate all the daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it. All right, let's see here for the support champion. Man, we were hoping we'd maybe have someone else that had some combat tricks or at least some cheaper spells, but the only spell here are two three costs, which isn't wonderful. Let's try a reroll. Stone Weaver. so while we don't really care about a landmark, it is a one-cost spell, which isn't bad, and it has Stone Weaving, or not Stone Weaving, it has those Sigils of the Storm, which could give us some cost reduction for our Lee Sin. Uh, Yumi, again, no spells. Nautilus, no spells. I think we will actually go here for Talia, so she'll be able to capture a unit. The Rock Hopper can give us some more mana. And this is just a cheap spell that can give us some cost reduction for our Lee Sin. Not really the best, but I think the best out of what we've been shown so far. All right, first power. I will go for the spell burn. I was really hoping to get some cost reduction for our spell. So either like wild inspiration. So all of our created cards cost one less because we're creating a spell every round uh, or spell slinger. So just all spells cost one less. But I guess we'll go for this here. All right, high rolled the shop. Nice. Can we get some cheap spells? So home turf, allies cost one less when you play an ally deal two damage to it. Not really great, but this would have been amazing if we were playing like Tom Kench. Spirit Forge or Spirit's Refuge. Not bad. Tellstones, okay. This does have overwhelm and double attack. And this is a card that we could try to buff up so it's actually worthwhile. So that's something to consider. One cost Talia is actually pretty good because it's a one cost capture. Focusing Crystal, also not bad. I think let's let's grab this just so we have a one cost capture. And the Stone Weaving could be interesting, but let's, I think, get the big buff for the Green Glade Lookout. Let's buy the Rat just because we might be able to really surprise the enemy. Because that double attack, if we could give this the 8-8 eight, eight buff from our star powers, could really do a lot of damage. But I think we, well, we were going to potentially get this. Don't have quite enough gold, but that is fine. All right, let's see what we have here. So, Lissandra with Frost Gathers. She Who Wanders. It That Stares. And the Inquisitor. So, Crimson Aristocrat up here. Now, we could get a lot of really good stuff from the Remitter. The Hollow Blood is rough, but I think we should be able to get through it. 
So yeah, let's try to go up top. So we have Warden of the Tribes with I Am Inevitable. All right, Shadow Assassin. Let's get rid of one of these Sonic Waves, but I'm actually fairly okay with this. Oh, I wish we had enough mana for that. Yeah, let's play Talia just to get rid of that. We don't want them to have that extra cost reduction. <laughs> we should have put Talia first so that our other one could get that hit after. All right, so this would give us cost reduction for Lee Sin. So yeah, that can be okay. It can be one cheap spell to play. Huh, Azir, interesting. Sure, might as well grab that. A solid unit. Guess we'll grab the Vandal Tree. Not that we plan on playing it. All right, so we could already drop our Lee Sin. I think we will hold off, though. We want to play likely our second spell in the round. Although he would be a pretty solid blocker, so yeah, we can grab him here or drop him. Act free of doubt. Uh, yeah, we'll just block here. All right, so let's see what we can do here. So one spell buffing that up. He's already going to have Challenger. Our enemy cannot hide. Enter your spear. Prepare yourself. All right, so double attack that we're buffing to crazy levels. And that's game. GG. All right, that went pretty well. All right, draw two, flow, reduce the cost of those cards by one. Uh, pretty expensive, Desert Duel, three cost. I think we'll just go here, so some removal, it's fairly cheap, generating another card. Could be all right. Crimson Aristocrat, don't really care about this, to be honest. Yeah, we'll just leave that. All right, Avarosian Trapper with all things grow cold. I bet we start with the attack token. Oh, look, we started with the attack token. What a surprise. All right, we're just going to pass. Take the high ground. As we practice, team. Hmm. Not sure why we can't play that since it costs nothing and we have one mana. I guess after playing it, there would be nothing we could play. So it can't manifest a zero cost landmark. So we could drop our Talia to capture that, although we could also stun it. I think let's actually play this first. Just so we can get some cost reduction. All right, Lee Sin cost two. That's fine. Beware the dragon spit. They'll try to kill him. And we'll buff him up to survive. All right, so we could play this here in order to be the unit get, that gets uh, stopped or captured. That is, I think let's do a little bit of a gamble. Can't be. So yeah, they drop a very big unit. We then drop Talia to capture it and get our Lee Sin back. So we won't be able to get our 8-8 buff this round. 
But I think let's My buff lad. up our Lee Sin and at least get one of our other units back. Now, we're not going to have the barrier, but he does have a pretty big health pool. All right, that is fine. I won't stand by. You are brave, young one. All right, we're waiting for them to attack. Alright, so we could block here with Lee Sin, but we'll let uh, this one kill their unit. We're going to need to open attack, otherwise they're going to capture some of our units, which won't be the best. So hopefully they don't have a frostbite. We're just working on leveling up our Lee Sin, not that it really matters. I fight with the dragon fury. Alright, and GG. Horror Snacks is definitely interesting. Would have loved to get some cost reduction on this, but not bad. All right, Bone Scryer and all things grow cold. I will actually hold on to the Concussive Palm. I feel like it might be pretty important here. All right, so we could drop the Rock Hopper. I think the Green Glade Lookout being able to scale up from all of our spells, that could be pretty good. We could drop to Leah. Might as well. Well, that's not too surprising. But let's actually buff Leah up so she doesn't actually die. actually try to attack and just surprise them. Well, that is unfortunate. Our barrier will be pretty nice, though. And also the fact we already start with 8 health. Well, that's not great. So we could stun the ephemeral one, which would pretty much be a death sentence. All right, so this unit still doesn't have Formidable because it's at the end of the round. Also, for Lee Sin, his barrier isn't going to protect him because of that hitting and killing his barrier first. Your attack is obvious. So he's actually the everything. only one that can block here because of the Fearsome. Yeah, those Fearsome units are definitely causing us problems. We could block here, but it wouldn't actually die, and so it's kind of like, what's the point? 
All right, trying to reduce down the damage we're taking as much as possible. Hate that we're losing this unit and he's not even going to kill theirs. Well, that is not the best. Because even though it's not killing us, it is actually... Oh, well, of course. It is wounding everyone, which isn't great. Let's go ahead and... Buff up our Lee Sin. That way he can try to take out some of these units. Alright, we'll drop here just to be extra mana. But yeah, they're fierce, fearsome units. Aren't great. We'll have to buff up. Oof. So we can buff up one unit to be stronger, but whoever we buff is also going to get the 8-8 eight, eight buff. Most likely. Alright, here's someone strong enough to block a fearsome. So, reducing down the damage we're taking. I fight with the dragon's fury. At least Lee Sin will be able to recall with our next attack. We'll just bank that mana. Sure, let's actually try to play this here. Let's draw some more cards. Strike firmly. Prepare yourself. I don't think they should be able to stop this in really any way. All right, that should be GG. You cannot sway yep, GG. My All right, still alive. Nice. Uh, destroy an allied landmark or one of your mandra gems to deal five damage to a unit. Slow spell, play, draw slow, faster, first spell. I guess we'll go here. There's a chance we might have landmarks we don't really care about. Although this is actually useless based on what we're going to try to get, which is Vestige of Helia. I think let's just go here for Scattered Pod. All right, champion item, 
two cost reduction for Lee Sin. Pretty good. All right, when any player summons unit sets up to one, Narwhal Blessing, Steady Supply. Mortal Marks could be nice against Lissandra, but we don't actually have that much like poke damage. Silence Lee units, not so fast. Unstoppable Force. Yeah, we'll do another reroll. Ah, <laughs> uh, we just have to try. Man, that is not great. Well, we got very unlucky. There was multiple things that could be decent for us here, but didn't see them. Like if anything, everything costs two less. That could have been really good for us. Or your spells cost two less, your units cost one more. That could have been okay. But we're, what we were really looking for was all spells cost one less, and then all units have permanent spell shield. That would have been very good for us, but did not get lucky. Wild inspiration though, that is nice. All right, She Who Wanders and Frost Gathers. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Unworthy Soul. So this is one of the spells that they added in to Leeson's deck, and can't really say I think it's that great for us. It's normally too expensive to play, and that's normally the main issue with Lee Sin is just not having enough mana to do all the things you need to do. Right, we could play Lee Sin round one, but I'd rather play this here. Although... Yeah, we wanted to be able to buff it up. Yeah, if we attack, it would die, unfortunately. Alright, we'll drop this here and let's buff that one up a little bit more. Alright, let's drop this here. Show you how it's done. Huh, we were expecting them to play something. So yeah, if we play this, we won't have mana for two spells. Alright, let's buff this one up. And I guess we'll kill one of our own units. Uh, this one, regardless, is going to die at the end of the round. The double strikes into this modifier is a little bit rough. Any, yeah, I guess we won't actually attack with everyone since they'll just die. So I think we'll actually just attack like this, getting most of our damage down. Granted, they might entomb it or something like that. Oh, guess not. Nice. The winds of change blow bitter cold. Alright, we can finally get Lee Sin on the board. Alright, we want to play some spell so he'll actually get, uh, there we go, the 8-8 eight, eight buff. Our enemies cannot hide. Such a great, great way to surprise the enemy. As the dragon wills. Recall a unit or landmark. Uh, sure, I guess we'll just get rid of that there. If they don't have anything to stop this, then we're just gonna 
end the game. Well, there's an interior. A little sad. The reason we're not attacking with everyone is they pretty much all die to the uh, hollow blood effect. All right, let's go ahead and draw a fast spell. Wouldn't mind stunning that. We don't really have two spells, and so I don't think I'll be able to protect some of our units. I think we'll, yeah, just go ahead and get the stun. Well, it is an exact copy, so it kept all of those massive buffs, which isn't bad. Alright, GG. Uh, sure, every time we play this... This is a card we generate every round. Just getting two units. That'll be interesting. Uh, let's go for the champion item chest. Uh, Augment's not bad. Would give us a decent amount of damage. Deathless is a pretty solid keyword, though. I think we'll actually go for the Augment. Just having Lee Sin on the board doesn't matter as much anymore. So if he gets removed, it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's go for Frostcoat Cub and feed the pack. Uh, we'll get rid of scales. We can hold on to the rest. Yeah, that's fine. What do these yodel eyes see? All right. Sure, let's go ahead. We don't really care about this unit dying. Because our forward space is going to fill up, so that's why we attacked with it. Alright, two costly sin. Awesome. I think let's go ahead and if I stumble, I have to get rid of that Drake Hound. Alright, let's go ahead and Our enemies cannot hide. drop this here. We're getting rid of the important one, which is nice. <laughs> the frost fighting the wrong one. All right, double rat, not bad. Although the 8-8 buff is going to go to Lee Sin, which isn't great. So yeah, I guess we'll just play this here instead. it up since it's going to keep getting doubled. And we can grab the one with the least amount of health. Prepare yourself. 
All right, so that is probably game. GG. All right, Wuju style is really good. I like Brainworm. I love making the enemy discard, but a one cost spell, really good. Then it's going to make a two cost spell, which is going to go down to a one cost because of our wild inspiration. But then it's going to shuffle two more copies into our deck. It says they're going to cost one, but since those will be created cards, they'll actually again cost nothing because of wild inspiration. So let's actually go ahead and grab this. All right, so we have Orn or Anivia. Now, if we go up against Anivia, she'd start at 10 mana. We would get another extra mana gem though, which isn't terrible. Orn also has all things grow cold. I think let's actually go here for the middle path. That way we can also choose the three for where we want to go. Spells chest, so this is now going to cost nothing. Wonderful. Let's see here. So a retreat, hero's horn, the return would cost nothing. Might be worth grabbing. So this doesn't really matter because we're already, it's already going to cost nothing. This would really flood our board, which it's already doing. I guess since we can't reroll, we might end up getting that. Yeah, we get this. At least we'll always have plenty of blockers. And we can buy the retreat. There's more cheap spells. And if we need to draw our champion. And the Mage's Handbook, even though it's kind of pointless, it could actually be helpful into Lissandra, where she increases the cost of everything. So maybe it'll be helpful. We're probably going to play this more than we will the Stone Weaving. All right, Claws of the Dragon, that could be pretty good. So let's go up for Anivia. All right, we can get rid of this because we already are making one every round. Havli Sin. High Note might actually be good for killing the egg. Let's get rid of the Retreat. All right, so we can start at four mana. Don't necessarily want to play Lee Sin because I want to be able to play the multiple spells. I'll show you how it's done. All right, let's see what we get here for all of the units. Just a briny deep. All right, we'll see how they block. Well. Glad we got that out of hand already. And glad we could get rid of that big uh, unit. All right, not terrible. I prefer they frostbite that than frostbite some other attacks later. A new era begins. All right, we need multiple spells. Although I feel like we probably need a stronger unit to block His and kill their Anivia. They're going to frostbite it, aren't they? Yep, there it is. All right, we'll just pass. Let them... Yep, go ahead and do that. That's fine. So, our unit gets buffed up to massive amounts. Great, our whole board's getting annihilated, but... Doesn't really matter. Now, the issue is they have their nib egg Nivia. Master yourself. Master your enemy. Prepare yourself. Let's go ahead and buff this unit up. This is mercy. 
<laughs> if Lucian survives, he'll be able to really help out and do a lot of damage. And yeah, let's just keep spreading out these buffs. We don't want them to have good targets to frostbite and uh, be able to kill. So yep, let's just attack like this. Yep, that's why we didn't buff up either of those more. Oh, it's a Nivea's champion spell. And they still have another one. Oh, wonderful. Man, they really like using that spell. Alright, so killing Nivy actually is not going to matter that much. I want to play this here to try to save our Lucian. As the dragon wills. Uh, you know what? We can just fizzle the attack Speak his name. and actually let this unit die. That way our Lucian levels. I'll sleep when they're dead. All right, wonderful. We now have another double attack unit. Okay. Thank you for the rally. I won't stand by. You are brave, young one. All right, let's go ahead and attack. Recall their Nivia. Looks good. him a little bit more health so plenty of damage if they kill anything we can just rally gg i guess we'll get this doubling dice after all all right claws of the dragon shuffle two costs in or two copies into my deck. I think we'll actually do that for the Concussive Palm, which is funny because this is the upgrade Lee Sin used to have. And this could be really good into Lissandra. Having some more crowd control is very helpful. All right, Lissandra with Frost Gathers. All right, let's get rid of these two. Well, happy we were actually able to get to Lissandra. The last couple attempts with other champions have been <laughs> a little rough. Alright, we have no cheaper units. We could drop our lease in. I think I'll pass and see what they want to play. These are trolls. Not a huge fan of that, so let's drop to Leah. And they're out of cards. Let's do a stone weaving. Uh, sure. I always forget there's a city beneath our feet. So it's gonna fill up our hand, but it'll let us play our lease in for free. We need some discard. Alright, 
So we'll just attack like this. Decent amount of damage down. I will bury the world in ice. So we're actually pretty close to being able to play this. But we'll just drop our lease in. Beware the dragon. Once again, we'll just pass, let them see what they want to play. Alright, let's buff up her health so she can survive. Alright, so he'll be able to kill their Lissandra. And yeah, this costs one. The one we get after it will cost uh, three, I believe. So we'll just block like this. They're probably going to really try to destroy our board. Let's go ahead and use this early. We can start shuffling them into our deck so we can pull them out later. Yep, that is not a surprise. Ages pass, yet I remain. Ages pass, but I am eternal. Sakaar. All right, so we will try to attack like this. We're hoping their Lissandra will block here and we can try to surprise and kill her. Shatter. All right, perfect. And sure, let's just drop another lease in. The dragon himself. Well, killed two Lissandras. Not bad. The trolls are going to war. Hmm, Trundle, not great. Also, we're kind of struggling to get spells, so I think we'll drop this guy here. I won't stand by. You are brave, young one. Trying to buff up our Lee Sin so we can kill their Trundle and hopefully survive. Although I suppose we're killing a Trundle and they're just going to get another one. So we could play this. Since they have nine mana, I'm a little bit worried that they're just gonna do a buried in ice. My lands need so I think let's potentially just attack. Now they might still obliterate us. But that's kind of just a risk we have to have to deal with. Dragon protects. All right, so we'll kill their trundle. Be able to recall that one. Yeah, that looks all right. Now 
Now they'll block and kill our cannon, but that's fine. Yeah, they weren't gonna last long anyways. All right, so those are at least, they're not dying, but they're at least getting recalled, so the enemy will just have to play them again. The issue is we don't have any sustain, so we're not... not ending the game too quickly. All right, we need to start opening up our hand a little bit. We'll probably override some of these, but we just want to free up space in our hand. Not too surprising. That's what we were worried about last round, which is why we attacked when we did. All right, let's go ahead and drop this here to have a blocker that can still benefit from some spells. Not that it's really gonna matter. Yep, GG. We didn't draw any of our kind of finishing units, especially our double attack ones. We have one of our rats this time. That's good. We'll get rid of one of these high notes. This is the main way we're doing a lot of damage. So it's kind of necessary that we pad these. A little worried about dropping it round one, though. I think let's drop one of these. All right, so we didn't get the copy to be able to play it for free. Little sad. Master yourself. Master your enemy. This is the last spell or last thing we're going to be able to play this round because of the increased cost. Might as well summon a whole bunch of stuff. But one Lissandra down. It's not too bad. Try to drop this. We need to do our best to protect it. Alright, so we need to give this some extra health. And the challenger doesn't really matter. Our enemies cannot hide. All right, perfect. Lee Sin surviving. And so is our rat. That's all that really matters. So this will probably not work because they likely have either a frostbite or something to stop us. Well, let's go and attack like this. I'm actually trying to hold on to the void lane. We might want to use this later to get a big heal going. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Let's actually get rid of him. And 
alter your spirit. So we're not trying to super buff him up yet. Let's just attack like this and see what the enemy wants to do. We want to have some mana to respond to whatever. Uh, yeah, so three to everything, so we are going to heal this unit so it doesn't actually die. We could recall, like, the Void Lane, but when we recall them, they're not going to get the lifesteal necessarily, so somewhat doesn't matter. Let's play this just in case it actually ends up being helpful. Wouldn't be the first time I've won from Starspring. Let's drop this just to have a blocker. I think that can make a it can make an eight and tomb. Alright, let's go ahead. Buff. Oof, that's gonna be a little rough. Let's go ahead and try to recall that. And then we can buff up. This one's health. The dragon spirit awakens. Nice. All right, trying to reduce down the damage we're taking. and try to keep the rat alive as much as possible. Alright, so they now have 9 mana. I mean, we have the issue of... If we build out our board they potentially will just play a Buried in Ice and obliterate everything. But I also don't really want to open attack, so I'm actually going to play this here just to give them the opportunity to uh, play their Buried in Ice. Because they do like to do that at 9 mana. Yep, there it is. That's why we didn't build out our board with our Rat. So we'll attack and do as much damage as we can. And they're just setting up to end the game, so they don't care about that lock at all. Wonderful. Classic. Second buried in ice. Gotta love it. Alright, nothing we do is really going to matter here, considering we don't have enough to block this. So, bit unfortunate. Like, we could summon a whole bunch of units, but they don't have any place to go because of all the landmarks, which is unfortunate. Oh well, we had a pretty good run. GG. Alright, not a... 
able to come away with the win there, but we were at least able to get all the way to Lissandra, which is better than some of the other champions I have played. I do like this build. I like the fact it doesn't have to be as focused on Lee Sin because that's how a lot of other Lee Sin builds work. You can focus on some of your other units and buff them up. The issue is we just didn't have enough damage to burst through Lissandra before she was able to end the game. Hope you guys enjoyed that though. If you did, definitely like and subscribe and I hope you all have a great day.